You better swear to me. If you don't do your reps right, I'm coming for you. I'm vengeance. I'm the man behind the mask. Tell me, who's taking PEDs? I'll find them. I'll tear this city down one by one. It's me, Batman. Yo, Andrew Hiller here. I don't know if it's too early for me to be making one of these, but when I have something swirl around in my head and I can't just throw it out there, it's going to keep sitting there until I can get it out onto the freaking camera at this point. The topic today is basically on the feedback that I've been getting. Of course, really all I'm ever going to see is the stuff that people agree with. They want to tell me I'm doing a good job. They want to support me. They want to say, hey, I like your video. The videos get like 95% likes, so if you don't like this, Dislike it, and it's going to give me a better idea what's going on. If you like the freaking video, subscribe to the freaking channel so I know that's going on. But clearly I'm stirring up the pot. A lot of you guys are liking that. A lot of you guys are sending me these huge long messages about this is the type of thing that you've been waiting for. And you know what? I think that this is kind of what I've been supposed to be doing this entire time. So let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you and you may call me V. Are you like a crazy person? I'm quite sure they will say so. Like I've said in previous videos, this is kind of what I would do day to day with the members at my affiliate. I would just have these conversations one at a freaking time. And now I can do it on public forum and I can talk to you guys all at once. And then I can talk to you guys one at a time in the comments. And then you guys can talk to one another in the comments. And that's the whole goal of all of this is I bring up a topic and then we talk about it. So the topic that I want to talk about today is the word clout. I was reached out to by somebody. Somebody who said that the only reason that I'm doing this is for clout. And you know what? I heard it and I was thinking, that's not right. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I want to spread a message. I'm doing this because the more people that I get to listen to certain things, the more content that I can put out, I think obesity is a choice from coming from the fat guy. Or these are the things that I think you need to do CrossFit. But you know what happens is if I don't have people listening to the goddamn videos, what good are they? Right? I can make all the videos in the world that I want. I can say everything that I want. But if I have 10 subscribers on the channel, what good am I doing here? What I did is I went and I looked up the word clout. Number one definition when you put into Google is a heavy blow with the hand or a hard object. All right, that's not what I'm doing. Number two is influencer power, especially in politics or business. I knew he carried a lot of clout. I'm like, all right influencer power, Andrew in the CrossFit community. It's like, yeah, that's kind of exactly what I'm going for. I'm not gonna lie, that's exactly what I'm going for. So I was upset at myself for getting mad about the fact that somebody pointed out the fact that I'm just doing this for clout. What this person didn't like is the method in which I was going about it. I have self-admittedly put up clickbait things like Tia and Brooke are going team when clearly I know they're not going team. We watched the video, you know that that was never something that happened, but I'm going to put that there so people click on it so they can hear the message. Or like Katrin David's daughter sets a bad example and like did she really set a bad example or was she doing burpees a weird way? I don't know how was anyone ever going to find out if they didn't click on the video where they could see that her back was exposed in a sexy pose, you know? So to answer this person's question, I'm doing this exactly for the reason of clout. I'm going to do things where I look at things on the internet and then I'm going to talk about them because there are no one else freaking that I know who's talking about certain things that I want to talk about at least. So if I see something on the internet, you decided to put it there. Luke Parker is sprinting an interval on the treadmill and it's causing a disturbance over in the Mayhem facility because I wanted to talk about the fact that Froning said he was going to kick him out on the CrossFit Mayhem YouTube channel with 250,000 subscribers. I don't see how it's my fault that I'm putting my personal spin on it. It's just something that I want to do. And if there's people that agree with it, they probably agreed with it in the first place. But if that video gets 40,000 views and if that video video causes some sort of disturbance is it really my fault if that was put on the internet in the first place like don't put that on the internet what I took from that video is that I really appreciated the fact that that stuff was put on the internet I think that it's great that Froning was doing that and putting his foot down and saying this is my gym this is the way that things are supposed to be and if this is going to be happening like then you gotta take a week off man I wasn't saying that Luke Parker was a bad person like if that's the spin that people are putting on it that didn't come out of my mouth I didn't say Luke Parker's a piece of shit I said Luke Parker is probably doing what guys do when 
what he's trying to show off. And Froning is also doing what guys doing. when you're the alpha male, you're going to put the freaking person down. And that should be completely okay with everybody. It should be okay with Rich, Luke, the people of Mayhem, and it should be okay for me to say it because it was on the internet. That also goes out to things like uh, Burpee that isn't being performed all the way to the floor. And yeah, it wasn't on that person's story. I don't even follow that person. I can't stand seeing the content that Danny Spiegel puts on the internet. It's all for freaking born primitive and buy my stuff and look at me and how hot I am. I don't need to look how hot you are. My freaking fiance is hot as shit. I don't got to look at Danny Spiegel. I think it's disgusting when people talk about how big her butt is and crap. Like, yeah, we know it's on the internet. We don't got to look at it anymore. But if someone's, I mean, that is up to perspective, right? But what isn't up to perspective is, is the burpee down to the floor. And I know that the way that I go about my training is I try to make things as hard as possible. I make them as hard as possible so that when I go about doing them in a workout, I can always fall back upon my training. It's something that I picked up in wrestling. Practice is how you play, right? And if you practice harder than you play, you're going to be a dominant force. And granted, I'm not a dominant force in the CrossFit community. I wish I was. I'm not. Whatever. It also shows why certain people might be a online dominating athlete and then they never show up. They always just you know, fall off the face of the earth, but it push comes to shove, right? Or if your friend in your gym isn't doing squats to depth, that person should be squatting to depth. I made it very clear that, you know, I didn't lock out my thrusters last year at semifinal. CrossFit didn't let me have it slide. So you know what I did? I spent a whole year working on my thrusters. I put up a video. I let all you guys watch it. Nobody said anything about the fact that my thrusters didn't lock out because you know what? When something bad happens, you have an option. You can either look at it, get mad, or you can take personal responsibility. You can take personal responsibility and try to get better. That's a message that I want to put out there with all of this stuff. And especially if this stuff is going on the internet. The internet is for everybody to see. So just like the Mayhem video, just like the Danny Spiegel burpees, and just like this person doing their squats, these are all just examples of things that are on the internet that I'm being sent or that I'm just seeing, and then I can put my spin on them. And I'm going to do things that like the morning chalk up won't do. And the morning chalk up's just going to say, oh, yeah, look at this performance. It's the best performance in the world. Yeah, cool. CrossFit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ignore everything that's going on. All the reps are shitty and who cares this shit. And the Open's the best it's ever been. And it's just a perfect three-week test. It was so introductory. And that's what we're going for, right? We want to be all inclusive. And it's like morning chalk up, I don't know what you're doing that for. Like, what is the good in that? Now that the dust is settling on year 12 of the Open, if you're like me, you might need the folks from Arosti on speed dial because after giving multiple attempts at 22.3. There is something wicked brewing in my legs, but then again, I've got some long getaway sticks. They usually feel that way after the open finale. The question that you always got to ask yourself, as you always know, is does it matter? It doesn't matter what you think! Because it really doesn't matter. I'm sitting on the computer in my garage. It is uh, 12, 18 at night, and I just can't go to sleep because I got to get this stuff onto the internet because I can't go to sleep until I talk about the fact that I need everyone to know that you're probably not safe, especially if you're putting them on the internet. Where were the other drugs going? You better swear to me. If you don't do your reps right, I'm coming for you. I'm vengeance. I'm the man behind the mask. Where were the drugs? Tell me. Who's taking PEDs? I'll find them. I'll tear this city down one by one. It's me, Batman. I'm letting you know that I'm past the stage in my life where I'm going to care whether or not someone's going to say, you're such a bad person because you called out so-and-so and and they deserve better. It's like, why do they deserve better? Like, just be the best you can be. If you want to claim to be one of the fittest people on earth, you should be touching your chest to the ground on your burpees. It's what we've all done since our first day of freaking elements class. What's a burpee? Okay, are you scaling it? You're not scaling it, so do it the right way. There are 300,000 people signed up for the CrossFit Open, and every single one of them should be sweating to depth. And if you're not, then you're not doing it right. And if I'm going to point out the fact that you're not doing it right, I'm coming for you. Do it right next time. That's all. Like... Your coaches weren't doing it, your friends weren't doing it, while I'm Andrew Hiller in my garage in freaking Chicagoland, Illinois, telling you to do it right. Hopefully you take it to heart and you just don't quit, because you know what? You could quit. People quit all the time. I made the freaking video on diets and food, and people quit every day. They just go and eat a cheeseburger. Don't quit. Be better. Five years from now, when you look back on that situation, be like, oh, cool, I'm happy that that guy called me out on the internet. Like, how did he find my video? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter!
matter. But what does matter is how you react when somebody calls you on something. So I want to let you guys all know that this stemmed not from direct feedback, but mostly from indirect feedback. I mean, sure, there have been instances where people reach out and they're like, you're doing a big disservice to the community. And I go, I don't really think so, because from the 200 plus other messages that I get every other day, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook, they're saying, this is so great. This is what we've been waiting for. And I get like maybe six, seven, or eight that are saying that I should calm down a bit and, you know, do something better. Like put your energy, like this is where my energy is meant. Like, like I just told you now it is 1221 at night and at 1221 at night, this is all I can think about. This is where my energy belongs. I'm vengeance. If you don't like the energy, don't watch the channel. And if you don't want my energy put into you, do things the way that they were supposed to be done. I once had somebody tell me that there was something about me. There's something special about me. And I was like, I don't know what you mean. I don't get it because I don't, you never see like what's special in yourself, right? I mean, you just hope to be the best. You want to do the best by whatever the hell it is that you're doing. And when I started making these YouTube videos, I was like, wow, it's easy for me to talk into this computer screen. And then when I started talking into it, I just became another person. Become another person. And then I thought about it a little bit. And I thought back, back in high school, something that I really enjoyed was doing these like little comedic videos. And I remember I had this video of the Loch Ness Monster that I just kept on showing to all these different classes back in the day. I was in a foods class and I gave an hour long presentation on the Loch Ness Monster. And I was in a tech class where I had to freaking build a bridge and I did a presentation on the Loch Ness Monster. And why did I do it? I did it because I didn't care what happened. I didn't care about the grade. I didn't care about what people thought. But what I liked was that people thought it was funny. And I like that people knew that I was being genuine. They're like, holy shit, this dude's off the rocker. Give it a Loch Ness Monster presentation in a Spanish class. Give it four different classes. It was going around the school. I thought it was hilarious. I texted my entire school. All right, not the entire school because I didn't have everyone's phone number, but it was like three, 400 people. And I made a pie chart. And on this pie chart, I asked everybody, do you think the Loch Ness Monster is real? And on this thing, it was like, yes. 52%. And then there was like a thousand little slivers. And it was like, no, I don't think the Loch Ness Monster is real. And it was like, who are you? Because I don't have your phone number. And it was like, I believe the Loch Ness Monster is more real than butter. I can't believe it's not butter. And it was just something that I thought was so funny. And now fast forward all the way into the point where I'm a 30 year old and I'm still thinking that it's good stuff. And I'm liking doing this for you people. I do it for everybody who's watching the videos, everyone who's getting a kick out of it. And for future reference in videos, I'm still going to be doing the clickbait things. I want to get subscribers. I like the cloud. Cloud is going to be my thing. Cloud, 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 cloud. Let's say cloud, 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 cloud. It's such a weird word when you say it over and over again. So yeah, I want influence and power. I want that in the CrossFit community. I want that so I can spread a message. I want to spread the message that the morning chalk isn't spreading, that the CrossFit YouTube channel isn't spreading. They're taking down videos of the freaking Mel O'Brien versus Tia Toomey, and nobody knows why they're taking them down. Does it matter? It doesn't matter! It only matters why they took them down. There's a reason they took them down. There's a reason they're not up. I'm going to look into it. Maybe some people have some perspectives on it. I'm going to go look at the equipment list and then I'm going to go to bed. And now I can do that because I made this video. But as I'm sleeping, I hope that you watch it. I hope you like, you subscribe. I don't know if it'll be up in the morning, but we'll see. Andrew Hiller, good night.